in previous video i show that how you can create a new aws account and in this video we are going to set up our first im user so being a practitioner you always need to work using im users rather than the root credential uh, as i mentioned that the email id which is using for the creation of this account become the root a account and i have the root privilege right now in this account and whenever you will create first time you will get the root access so let's start it to set up the first im user where it will help to understand is how the hierarchy work what kind of privileges we will we will assign according to that we will log in with our im user to build our wordpress multi tier application in our upcoming video so let's get started so just check that your account is activated just maybe room in the account by checking the billing and other things if it will give somewhere error that your account need pending activation so wait for couple couple of hours you will get a mail from aws and your account will be fully activated usually it will take uh, in my experience uh, an hour or two but i can't say that if any specific error due to some payment uh, payment method if it occur so have wait and otherwise if any specific error related to payment try to reach out to your bank or aws support so let's get started to create our first im user so there are again man many places or multiple places where you can access the iam console another important thing for the day to day activity as well as for the exam perspective if you are preparing for any aws exam iam is having a coverage in each exam iam is a global level resource global level mean it is not bound to any specific region as i mentioned when we created our new account by default we have landed to us east to which is ohio so iam is a global level resource so regardless of any region it it is or the same credential can be used in any region to access the resources if the right set of permission is assigned to that iam user so let's go to iam console by searching from here or you can click on services or another shortcut is also from here so i am in my iam console so the important thing you need to know that as it is root account it is giving that couple of hints that we need to secure our account by following all these practices as well as this is our account id this is a unique id which belong to this account you will have your own account id so you can customize this so let's follow all these step and let's try to make all these things green so step 1 i am going to customize this i am going to put Uh, account alias so again it need to be unique so i am going to try with dc wordpress hope someone not already claim that so uh, yes so i got my now uh, i am user link and uh, using this link it will ask me to enter the credential which we will create in few uh, in few minutes so let's follow the other thing it is already delete your root access key so as it's a new account i have not created any root access keys so access keys are the method which will be used by programma programmatic stks to access the aws resources so if you generate the root access key from the this user id or this root account that will have the most power again the same the access you which you are getting from the console if you create the root access key from this user you will get using cli as well as the programmatic method the same powerful access so make sure never ever create the root access key until unless any very specific scenario came into picture but i have not found till date that any any scenario personally i experienced that where uh me and my uh, work need any root access key to access the thing so 
so this is going to as a green tick which means there is no root access key existing in this account so i'm going to check for the next step which is activating mfa mfa means that multi-factor authentication that as i open this account by entering my email id and password so i i have access so another layer of protection which we can put by activating this mfa so i am going to set up it using uh, application which is i installed on my mobile phone you can go with google authenticator or another application i found very useful name authy so you just search it's freely available on both android and ios so you can install and i am going to set up using google authenticator right now just came on this screen click on multi-factor authentication click on this activate mfa and you will present with couple of uh any options so we are going to use a virtual mfa because i don't have right now any hardware key as google come up with some i heard about the titan security key i personally never use so can't say how actually it worked but i heard about the gemalto is having some product and ub key where uh, which you can uh, use here as a hardware mfa but right now i don't have any hardware mfa so i'm going to with the virtual mfa and i am going to select and click on continue so it is going to show me a qr code which i need to scan using that google authenticator application and i need to put two consecutive code here to activate the mfa and so i am going to click this qr code and i am scanning it using my mobile phone so it is showing first code on my mobile screen which i am entering and i need to wait for the second code to show because it will uh, refresh in 20 to 30 seconds so i am just waiting to refresh it another thing is you can take a screenshot of this screen in case you lost your mobile or your mobile is having some issue and you need to recover your root account and so so you can again rescan this qr code to resync your new new device with this uh, uh, with this account so i am going i put the two code and i am assigning mfa so my mfa is activated so the next time whenever i try to sign in using my root credential after entering my password it will ask me to enter the one code which i need to pick it from my google authenticator application and enter it here after that i will be able to sign in into this account so let's go to again dashboard and see what else we need to do so here you can see the green tick is here another quick thing root account are used to do the payment let's say you got a bill you are using some resources infrastructure which is paid and you you receive some aws bill and you want to pay it and uh, so so for that you need to log into the root uh, root user so that is where the benefit of root user and active uh, as well as mfa come into picture so let's create one one quick quick thing uh, maybe this is a simple one so it is asking one is a creating individual im user which we will create we will create a one u group also so group will consist of a multiple user which need to be have a same kind of access so that uh, not every time we need to create individual user and assigning the access if let's say in the case of custom policy of any kind of enterprise we they if they are following any specific policies so group will be helpful so applying the im password policy so let's let's cover this option quickly so click here and or you can come come it from here also account settings so don't don't confuse yourself with all this option we will talk on about this option in our later videos so i'm just going to set a password policy so password policy is nothing but the criteria for the users to to set their password so it is something like let's say i have many users and uh, i assign them that for after their first login 
uh, while I provide the as an admin I provide the temporary username and password so username will remain the same and password will be temporary so at the first login they will ask for the setting up their uh, super secure password so I can set a policy that I want at least minimum of eight character and that password consists of maybe one uppercase one lowercase at least at it require at least one number or non alphanumeric character or if I want some kind of password expiration let's say the password uh, every user need to uh, change their password after 60 days or 90 days depend upon the organization policy in which you are going to work on the project so you can choose and play with all these so i am going to choose all these four five common one and going to save changes and as my policy password policy is updated let me go back to dashboard again and i see the another thing got green tick so now we are left with creation of a group as well as the individual i am user so let me go through the first user part so i will create a first user as this is a new account so i have no user so i am going to create a one user i am going to give it a name of admin depend upon your wish whatever you want to add you just need take your name or your wish i am going to just make it as a simpler adding a name of admin i don't want to assign a programmatic access because as this admin access i am going to use mostly for the uh, accessing my console so I am not going to put any keys in any any application or I'm not going to use it in my WordPress application as well so I'm just assigning this management console access and it is a it is giving option if I want auto generate password or custom so I'm going to go with the custom password make sure you will follow that password policy as it need to be have uppercase lowercase so this is where it will help and i don't want that i will change my password at next sign in because really i am very poor in memorizing the password most of the time i forgot so i am happy with right now with whatever i have chosen so i'm going to click to the next step so this is the step where we need to assign permission so by default aws gave us lot of permission which is known as the manage policy which belong to the different different job role and services so just click on attach existing policy directly if you want to assign the policy directly to this user because maybe in a minute or two we are going to cover the group and the benefit of group but if you don't want to put your user in that uh, in any group so you can uh, assign the policy directly from here and you can complete this flow but uh, right now i am not going to do i am just going to click next i am not assigning any policy so tags are very important tags always help for for segregating the resources let's say a lot of resources are running in the same account and you need to know about which resource belong to the which application or which environment as well as while doing the billing part which maybe i will cover in a separate separate video so so just make sure make being a good practitioner make sure from the scratch or from the day zero whenever you are going to start any project on aws so uh, uh, follow the tagging practices so it may be belong belong to different department or application name so mostly i use two to three these kind of uh, tags so like environment so this is my environment so this will become my production and uh, app name i want to give it as a wordpress so I will follow such kind of practice to put so that whenever I want to see any bill uh, and I want to filter so I can take advantage of these tags and let's say I want to put as owner also so I'm going to put my name so let's see so as it mentioned I have not assigned any permission to this user so it is showing that this user is having not no permission so I am just clicking the create user 
it will ask to download that key even we have not chosen to provide any access key or programmatic uh, method for this user but you can ignore this you don't need to download this so make sure you don't download and just click on close so our admin user is created with admin user as well as the chosen password but it don't have any access so let me quickly show that how how it look like because i really want to share the maximum information which will be helpful for you to understand how the really in the real world the application or the aws use cases are so that you can practice as well as my goal is to give you the maximum information so that you can prepare it for associate level exams easily as well as your fundamentals are clear so i copied my that i am user uh, user link which i am going to paste and i am going to open so let's see what it will ask so depend upon my internet connectivity okay so you can see if i directly open because it was not cached or in this window i have never opened any im link so it previously it asked me only the email id as well as the password but now i use this im link so it is saying that account alias which is unique globally in aws ecosystem so it is asking me to enter the username so i am going to enter my username which i created few minutes ago and i'm going to enter my super secret password and for this user we have not set up any mfa so it will directly open the console but again let let's test whether this user can do anything or not because we have not assigned any permission hope you remember while following uh, following the steps so we have not assigned any any permission to this user so let's see if this user can do anything let's see by giving the name of admin doesn't mean that it will get or it will inherit any any admin permission so you can see as it is is giving the error an error occurred fetching and you are not authorized to perform this operation let quickly check another service which is very famous i'm ju just going to search s3 and going to s3 console so let's see if we can create any s3 bucket uh, okay again before even it is showing that accessed in it but again for the sake let's create dc wordpress some random because again it need to be unique in the whole aws space namespace so you can see we are getting an error we are not able to create any bucket due to because of we don't have any access or permission assigned to this user so i have logged out and i'm going to log back again with my root user and another this is a practice you will be see that how the mfa screen will look like i am going to log in my root credential so because it is caching the that i am link so it will ask to enter or it will show you to enter your im user but we are going to use the root credential so here is a link given sign in using root account credential just click on that and it will ask for the username and password so i am going to use my username for my root account so which i created in my last video and again i am now confused with my super secret password ah here it is a screen where it is asking me to enter my mfa code i am picking that code from my mobile application so hope yeah i am entering the right okay there may be some issue from my side while entering the code i need to enter my password and again i need to give that code so the new code is showing on my display and i am entering and i am submitting so here we go with the root account login using our mfa so quickly i am going to create uh, a group and i will add my user in that group so let's see how how that work 
so I am here you can see only we are left with this group creation and assigning permission all other are having a green tick so we are going to create a group quickly so again I am just putting some maybe I don't know this came in my mind admin with a in uppercase so I just created this and I am assigning the manage policy which is already available in the in the policy option so i am going to assign the admin access administrator access to this group and my group is created so my group is created which is having the admin policy or permissions and but it is not having any user so i am going to click quickly so this is my admin user you can see that my user started with the lowercase a and my group started with the uppercase a or you can put whatever the name you want i don't know why i choose this but yeah here, here we go we are just adding this user and now this user by because of the part of this group it got the permission of administrator access so we can check again by signing out which we will do but another thing which i want to share by default whether any user got the admin access will not get the billing access billing access you can assign using the policy or from the root user you need to whitelist your user who want to who want to see the billing or who who have to do something with billing related stuff so make sure that you have assigned the right user right permission according to that they will be able to access the console so i am going to enter using my i am user so admin is my username with the lowercase and my super secret password there is no mfa assigned to this i am user so i am able to enter in this account and let's see i have a i am uh, admin level access but we can't be able to see the billing but we uh, with the iam level access we are able to assign or create other users or delete other users even and you can see we have all five green tick now after doing all these steps and but let's last thing quickly check whether we have a billing access or not because i have not played in my root account to assign any user billing access so even with having a admin access at a iam user level by default it will not give any billing access to any user assign so let's quickly check whether we are able to create any s3 bucket for the sake of understanding and learning and here it is not throwing error previously it was showing some error denied i'm just going to enter dc wordpress I will I hope this name will be available and without touching any other option which we will cover in later videos I am just going to click create and maybe some error happened I think I need to enter something more let's see okay the bucket is created so we got the IEM access and with the admin access so i can play with any of the services which are available because i have the highest level of i i am admin level access for this user so i believe this video will be helpful to understand in our next video we are going to set up our virtual private cloud we will talk about networking we will in the later video we will talk about all other services like ec2 s3 cloudfront elastic cache so i will cover one by one so if you follow each and every step you are good to go otherwise watch the video again pause where you are where you are having issue try to understand try to play it because i am creation user is free of cost so you can create maybe two five ten different user with a different policies there are multiple policies available just try to play it will surely clear lot of concepts and it will make you more confident if you are appearing and preparing for exam you need to have a clear understanding of how the iam work at what level 
and what is the function of group another important thing i can i want to share that group if you are the part of group group itself can't be like a login uh, entity so like i can't using my group name to log into this account even you see while creating a group i don't enter any password i just gave a group name and the permission and then i added my user inside that group so group is having a different kind of logic whereas the user is having a different kind of logic so try to understand don't get confused in all these the more you practice the more clarity you will have and it will help to make your much much better practitioner thank you guys so we'll see you in the next video you can subscribe to the channel as well as share and if you have any question put it in comment or reach out to me take care